Step one is remove all the keycaps. Next, you'll need to remove these 22 screws. On the K70, one is underneath a plastic piece by the volume wheel. And on the first version of the K70, there's an additional screw underneath the Corsair logo. If you use a plastic tool like this one, it is easy to remove without damaging anything. The case should be easy to split, with just a couple small plastic tabs on the top. Be sure to remove the ground wire and the single set of wires connected to the bottom of the case. Here I did a foam mod, where I took some thin packing foam and placed it in the bottom of the case, being sure to keep the standoffs clear. To dismantle the board, remove the 13 or so screws and four ribbon cables that hold the daughter boards. There are some hidden screws beneath the plastic shrouds. You can leave a couple screws on the board to hold onto the plate. Next, I desoldered all of the switches and popped the switches out. Don't be afraid to use flux here. Opening the low profile switches was easier than opening normal switches. Next, I lubed the bottom housings like this. Here I lubed the stems and reassembled the switches. I checked to make sure that any bent pins were put back in place. Here I soldered the switches using flux. I used a screw to hold the board down and I started in the corners. If you guys like this video, please throw me a thumbs up, comment down below your favorite part, and subscribe for more.